Let's begin our detailed examination of the Sulky Terrier with the head. It should be in proportion to the overall size of the dog. It should be strong, wedge-shaped, and moderately long, like this. The skull should be a trifle longer than the muzzle and is connected by a shallow stop. From the front, you can see that the skull is flat and not too wide between the ears. It should never be domed, like this skull, or rounded. And this skull appears to be too wide. This correct skull is moderately wide, giving the head a sense of strength without coarseness. This baby doll face, with its short, snipey muzzle, is too frequently seen and is incorrect. From the side, see how this dog has correct muzzle to skull proportions. The muzzle is moderately deep and straight, from stop to nose, with no sign of snipiness. There should be a definite underjaw. The teeth are strong and well aligned and meet in a scissors bite. Judges should check for a full and complete dentition, including all six incisors. Missing incisors on the lower jaw may indicate a narrow, weak jaw, which is undesirable. A markedly undershot bite is a serious fault, as is a markedly overshot bite. The nose should be black, like this, although a winter nose may be seen on occasion. A slightly off-color nose should be penalized according to the extent of the fault. But a butterfly nose or a liver-colored nose are major faults. The sulky terrier's ears are an important part of proper expression. These ears are correct. They're small, V-shaped, and pricked. They're set high on the skull and carried erect without any tendency to flare obliquely off the skull. These incorrect ears are set too wide on the skull, flare out to the side, and are also set too low. Remember, the Silky's ears should be set high on the head and point straight up. This ear leather is too thin for the ears to stand up properly. These ears, which are too large in proportion to the head, detract from proper expression and should be penalized. These correct ears form small inverted V's and point straight up. See how the backs of the ears are velvety to the touch and dark colored. This dog's eyes are also correct. They're small, dark in color, and piercingly keen in expression. The dark colored rims are almond shaped. These large round eyes are a fault. You can see how they detract from the intelligent expression so typical of the breed. These correct eyes contribute to the typical silky expression seen here.